Good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. The same for you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day too. Thank you very much, and Luis, thank you. Well, okay, guys, uh, I don't know if you can guys hear me, every one of you. Can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. teacher. Okay, so happy Valentine's Day for every one of you. So I hope you enjoy your day. Maria Luz and Nieto, are you in a party? No, teacher, el trabajo. <laughs> okay, it looks like a party or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope every one of you had a great day that you, well, like share with your family or with your friends, I don't know, but hope you had a great day. So um, today, guys, is actually our last class, and you know what that means, right? Today, we're going to have some kind of evaluation for you, and uh, it's going to be really easy, actually, so don't like i mean it's really easy it's just about the things that we have seen during this module and uh well that's going to be pretty much it also we are going to have some exercises that we are going to do just for me to check if you were able to understand all the topics that we saw during the module because you remember the first day we saw uh, greetings, we saw, um, you know, questions that we use to ask someone like, how are you, what's your name, and things like that. Then we saw the possessive adjective. So today, we are going to check all those things. Well, so just for me to verify if you were able to understand them all. Okay, so um, Thank you so much, guys, for being here on the class because not all people connected, no todos se conectaron. So it means que solo las personas que están acá. So I do appreciate Maria Luz de Nieto that you're, I can see that you're still trying to get your home. And um, se aprecia el hecho de que eh, tengan la puntualidad, chicos. That's very good from your part. Los demás que no se conectaron, pues eso se les va a tomar en cuenta. Recuérdense que siempre que se conectan, chicos, esto se toma en cuenta. So it's also part of, you know, all 
the, the attendance that you have to have, ¿sí? la asistencia. So we, because we're just 11, solo estamos 11, but we're going to work on that, okay? So um, let me see. Estela, do you have a question? Bueno, en sí, una pregunta, sino que solo aclarar un poquito porque no estuve el día viernes. Entonces, mm. Mi perro, por ese caso, pues, pero eh, tengo amigdalitis grado 3 y pues mm -hmm. ya iba en última fase ya al seguro y ya cuando he salido eran las 11 de la noche. Disculpe por eso. No, I mean, it's, it's completely understandable. I do understand that there's some situations that we cannot control. Hay situaciones que no las podemos controlar, and they're, they are out of our hands. But thank you very much for letting me know that. So it's okay, it's fine. So okay. as usual, como usual, chicos, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the last topic. De acuerdo a lo que vimos el último tema, okay? Can someone tell me what, what, what was our last topic? Contable, uh, no contables, no contables. Contable and non-contable nouns, okay? That's, that's what we saw. So what can you tell me, guys, about countable and non-countable nouns? What can you tell me about that? Mm -hmm. Can someone explain me or, te or tell me what or how do I know that a word or a noun needs a countable noun? How do I know that? Any, some, uh, okay. a, an. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Adriana, I see that you raise your hand. Um, the last class, you, uh, the, there is and there are. There is and, and there, there are. Is, mm -hmm. is singular and mm -hmm. there are is plural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you very much for helping with, with that. So also, guys, can I have a noun or can I use a noun as countable and non-countable? Is that situation possible? Is it possible to have a noun and use it as countable and non-countable? Is it possible? Yes, it is. Can you give me an example, Jenny, please? Hello? We need, uh, we need some, some apples. We need some milk. Okay. So my question was, mi pregunta era, ¿puedo utilizar algún noun como contable o incontable? Yes. 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 